Definitely. Now, did you know, Alistair, that the Queen has sent over 100,000 telegrams to those that have reached the grand old age of 100? Isn't that amazing? When you look at some of the statistics of the Queen's reign, just amazing. And in fact, during that time, she's come to Swindon four times, prayed past through our town numerous times throughout her reign. The last time she was actually here was on the 26th of October 1998, when she officially opened the Motorola plant up there at Groundwell. Now, one of the gentlemen who might have actually captured that on film is a local. He's called Richard Wintle. He is from Calix Picture Agency and he's here with us today. And you have gotten a most amazing collection of royal photographs and video, haven't you? More video than photographs, but yes, uh, I've been, I've got an archive going back over 12 years of the royal family, um, mostly concentrating on Charles Camilla and the boys. Uh, but it, it, it's quite a good collection. What got you into focusing on the royals as opposed to anything else? Oh, surely by accident. I happened to be driving to my parents' house across the Cotswolds, came upon the hunt where, where they were hunting and did some, did a bit of footage. So I just started doing video at that stage. And um, lo and behold, people wanted it. So, I, hello, <laughs> there's something here. So from then on, you know, we did Polo, so obviously Siren Sester and, and Beaufort and progress from there and I'm now, you know, I now follow them around, um, again mostly concentrating on Charles and Camilla. The problem is the Queen has her own cameraman and, you know, you can't get particularly good footage but with the, with Clarence House, I, I do a lot. And I presume as well, once you become known on the circuit sort of thing, there's almost a little bit more of a trust involved with them as well, I presume. Very much so, very much so, you know, it's taken 10 years to to sort of get to, to the point where I am now. And we, we're actually going to have a look at some of these pictures because um, we were looking just beforehand. I mean, some amazing, amazing video footage. Now, you've managed to get up really, really close, and you're saying it's because of the camera equipment that you have. Yeah, I, it, the camera equipment is sort of specific. A lot of cameras, like the one that uh, Tom's using now, tends to concentrate on a wide angle lens. Um, I, all my stuff is very long lens stuff. Not paparazzi long lens, but long lens be because we're cat 20, 30 feet away. Now, what for you is the most fun thing that you actually managed to capture in all those years? Oh, there's lots. I mean, the, the prince is playing bike polo on old bikes. Uh, Camilla juggling, Camilla playing on a Wii. Things like <laughs> this, you know, I mean, you, you, get, you get oddball ones from time to time. Well, let's have a little look at some of the, the, the footage you've got here. Um, because I'm just absolutely amazed at what you've got. I love this, we can see the Queen in wellies here. What was this event? Well, this is the Royal Windsor Hall show, and it was earlier in, in the month, uh, in all that heavy rain that we had, right at the end of the, the heavy rain that we had. Uh, the Queen, it's obviously in her back garden, and she uh, <laughs> attends to watch her horses, and this year uh, she came, uh, as usual, casually dressed, with a headscarf, puffer jacket, uh, and skirt, one does wear and wellies. royal wellies. And How nice! Black wellies. I mean, not but even green wellies. Not even black. green ones. Now we were talking about um, up at Groundwell, and you were you were there for that. Yes, I was. I did. I was one of the official photographers on the rotor, and uh, the, the Queen, as they opening Motorola, a little lad ran out and asked her, asked her for a, her autograph. Oh. And he had, a, he had his policeman hat on or something, and he, and he ran out and he, he asked her if she could, he could sign, if she could sign it. Of course, Aww. Queen doesn't sign autographs. Now, you've also just set up a new website as well, haven't you, relating specifically towards sport? Yes, yeah, Sports Swindon. Um, it's a display of my images with press releases and so on that, that come out. Uh, it's linking the two football teams, the rugby, the cricket, uh, ice hockey, speedway and golf and other Well, sports. we've got a link to it on the bottom of the screen thank here. Thank you very much. Richard, thank you very much indeed for coming in. Great to talk to you. And uh, you know, wish you all the best for the future. Thank you. Thank you. And if you want to have a look at the Queen's visits to Swindon, you can go onto our website, swindonweb.com.